everyone, and welcome back to America's favorite RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online, brought to you by our friends at Sarah Land Park and Campground in Columbus, Indiana. Visit their website at C-E-R-A, that's Sarah Land. Org. I'm your host, Kurt Hunt, and today we're coming to you from the Mount Comfort RV Parts Store, the largest independent parts store in Indiana. And I have Rick Helby with me. He's one of our parts experts, and we'll hear from him in a moment. But first, we're headed outside where Travis has something new and exciting from Winnebago. It's the 2021 Solus, a neat B van designed for adventure. Come in, Travis. I say Thanks, Kurt. We're down here at the Winnebago. This is a 21 Solus 59PX. Uh, they have a 59P, which is a platform edition on a Ram 2500 chassis. This is the PX. So you've got an extra 18 inches in the back, an air conditioner, a generator, and you're on the ProMaster 3500 chassis uh, rather than the 2500. So this is the upgraded version. Um, so as you walk in, you see the ladder. There's a lot of stuff in here to talk about, but this is the coolest feature, right? The, the fiberglass pop top up there. So you see it's a little dark in there because we don't have the windows down. There's three windows up there and a vent. Um, two of those windows have screens, so you can get a ton of airflow through there and natural light. Um, down here, you see your dinette behind the table. Obviously, when this ladder is moved, this table swings around. You got two seats here. These are um, automotive grade seats, so they're comfortable, but um, they've got three point harnesses, so you don't need a, like a child tether if you're bringing a, a child with you. Nova Cool refrigerator right here. Um, let's see if we got any power. Yep, we do. Uh, here is your two burner cooktop. Came with this little extra slide out right here. Storage. sink more storage here they did a good job with putting a bunch of storage in this um, in a b-van as you know we need as much as we can get usb ports power outlet there so here's all your panels right here you got your uh, lp your battery and your gray tank uh, indicators right there it's also where you start your generator and your water pump Here's the controls for your Truma Combi. That's going to heat your water, heat your coach, uh, and then heat your tanks. Keep you keep you camping longer in the season. Uh, holding tank heater right here. This is essentially the readout for your solar. This has 220 watts of solar on the roof. It's a 500 watt solar system, so you can expand it with a briefcase solar panel. Um, and I'll show you that back there. And then an LP shutoff valve. And here. We've got the wet bath. So this is a cassette toilet here. Um, you can swing it around so you can go from this angle or that angle if you want. Um, cassette toilet, so no black tank. You pull it out the side. You go and dump it. Makes it super nice. No handling that big disgusting hose and storing those stinky gloves places. Um, this also, one more look in here, Tony. This is heated. So it's gonna make it quite a bit more comfortable for you and also assist with the speed of drying whenever you're, you're heating the area up in there. Here's a little latch to help you keep that from jiggling around while you're driving down the road. Um, it's got the Eco Hot system in it, which is very nice. That's gonna keep you from wasting water. So you got 21 gallons of fresh water in this unit. Um, and when you're waiting on it to heat up, you know, you got to cycle the water. Well, you don't want your using all your fresh water and filling up your gray tank. So you turn this valve on to preheat. It's going to circulate the water till it's hot enough. And then you can bring it out of your sink. So you're not wasting any water. Pretty nice system. Back here, we've got the Murphy bed. Ouch. I just hit my head on the uh, air conditioner there. So when you step up, you lose a little bit of headroom right here. But typically, you're going to have your bed right here. Or this work center right here. So, got a little table that comes down. This table can actually move, it just hooks onto the bed. It can move over here or over there. So you can sit here, you can do your work, you can eat, whatever you want. Um, just a cool little table. Then, you've got a queen size Murphy bed. 
back here as well for your sleeping. So you can sleep up to two up top. You can sleep two right here. Um, or unless you're unless you've got a bunch of little kids and you can put stacked kids on here. You and the you and the significant other can sleep up top, whatever you want to do. But this comfortably sleeps four. In a B van, that's pretty good. Um, typically they're gonna sleep two, some of them three. So a ton of storage down here underneath the Murphy bed. You got storage in this cabinet. You got these deep compartments over here. I mean, you get your arm all the way back there. Two of them, so you can put whatever you want back there. Drawer there. Storage bins in here. Again, they've found everywhere they can to put a storage compartment, and they've done it. Um, so up here, this is a shower curtain. A shower curtain, you said? Yes. <laughs> because this is the only b van i've ever seen with a bath and a half you're probably asking what in the world i'll show you so here's a shower curtain these are more uh blackout shades that go on the windows so rattle free makes them very nice they're very simple they zip up and down they're going to help insulate the coach um, and they're going to black out all the sun rays and prying eyes so very nice and they're not like all the other blinds you see and you're driving down the road and they're smacking the windows and they're making all kinds of racket. Nope, quiet, how I like it. Uh, come back here, I will show you. So back here, this is, you got 18 inches of uh, basically a little gear garage. So all of these, see these, where, where's the camera at, Tony? See these guys right here? Oh, there you go, pull them. You can move them, you can put them wherever you want. In here, they're all up the wall, on the ceiling, and down on the floor, which makes it nice. You can strap in uh, bikes back here, your chairs, tent, whatever, extra clothes, everything. Um, can all get stored back here and strapped in. And these little, these little doodads can be swapped out for different kind of adapters like um bike mounts and everything else um the screen back here is sweet again with the uh, rattle free so everything on this coach is designed to be simple and effective which is exactly what this is so not a pull down blind where there's springs and a roller and everything else and it snaps out of your hands and it does um, rattles when you're going down the road nothing like that replacement parts just a screen it zips down keeps the bugs out does its job and it does it quietly um, when you're driving around so that's nice I will quickly show you I know that Kurt's wanting these to be quick um, so I'll quickly show you the water system here so first back up <laughs> first show you this i said there was a shower curtain so goes right here you got a shower rod you got a water station with a spray hose the shower curtain goes right here these are going to block the view out there and you got an outdoor shower much more space to move around than in the wet bath in there so if you're able in a, in a situation or a, a location where you're able to take a shower outside, it makes it very nice, pretty big area here. That's why I called it a bath and a half. Um, I guess you could use the bathroom out here. You're brave enough. Um, but this is where you handle all your controls for your water. So the nice part is it has this diagram. Basically it's gonna tell you how to do anything you wanna do. You place the valves in that position and it's gonna operate as intended. Here's where you fill your water. You got 21 gallons of fresh water you can put in there. And I think that's about it. I, I mentioned that it has the AC, it has a generator, quiet generator rated for national parks. So you can operate the generator in this, not disturb your neighbors um, and be completely within regulations, which is nice. What do you think, Tony? Good to go. All right.
that is the 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX. Um, Tony and I did a long walkthrough on it, a detailed walkthrough on this unit um, that you can find. He'll put the link in the description of this video. Please go check that out um, if you want to know more about the Winnebago Solus. Other than that, back to you, Kurt. Thanks, Travis. As I mentioned, we're here in the parts store at Mount Comfort RV. Rick's going to show us some items we should be picking up in preparation for the fall. What I have here is a product from ADCO. It's called a an ultra tire cover. It's basically to go on your tires to, uh, for your RV as it's stored in the fall and winter to keep them from checking out or giving you any problems as you move into the next season. It's, uh, the sun is very hard on your tires. The ultra tire guards come in black or white. They fit different size tires and they're to be put on when you put it into storage. Uh, the same with the RV covers they make as well as spare tires, spare tire covers and AC covers. And it's made by a company called ADCO. Rick, how much are these? Spare tire covers run $34.95 a pair. I'm sorry, the ADCO tire covers, ultra tire guards run $34.95 a pair. The spare tires are $20 each. The spare tire covers and the AC covers run about the same. And tell us, these are in stock, obviously. I've got a handful of them here. Tell us uh, when customers can come by and pick them up in the store. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 9 to 5. All right. Thanks, Rick. And when we return, Andrew will have something else to definitely you'll want to see. But first, here's Chris to entice us with a quick look at a very slightly used Wayfair from Tiffin. Hi, everyone. Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. I like to sometimes do videos on the trade-ins that we take in because sometimes we get some stuff that people are really looking for, which I think is kind of the case here. I don't believe this one will stick around long. This is a 2020. Yes, a 2020. Tiffin Wayfair, and this is the 25 QW floor plan. Uh, this is on the new Mercedes chassis with all the new electronics and the push button start and, and all that good stuff. So uh, this, this coach only has 3,700 miles on it. Well, you might ask yourself, why would somebody trade that in so quick? That's a little scary. I get that, but understand this gentleman's bought four motorhomes from me, like 10 overall in his life. I, I tease him because I, I, I'm like, you know, you, you could wait until after the first oil change to trade it in. He just likes to trade and, and is always uh, kind of that kind of guy and has the ability to do so. So uh, that's, uh, he actually, this is, was his second Wayfair. He loves it um, and uh, even made some little improvements to it as well. But at 3,700 miles, I don't think this will be sticking around long. Let's uh, first start with the improvements that he made. First of all, he did add tire pressure monitoring to it. Um, that's in this little bag right here. This is the little receiver. It'll tell you the tire pressure in all the tires. That's not something that these uh, normally come with. Um, the second is really cool because on these smaller coaches, one of the things you, you run into is you, you kind of run out of places to put things. Uh, and, and so this is... Uh, uh, what he added to it, this stowaway two box. And I've seen these little trunks before, but I've never seen one this rugged. Um, if you kind of shoot down here, Tony, get underneath it, there is a lot, and I mean a lot of steel down there supporting that thing. And it's big and beefy. Uh, he loved this box, was very glad that he added that to it. So he and his wife this time decided they were going just a little bit bigger. So they ordered a little bigger coach from me. They did option in on this one. This has the Truma uh, water heater system. That is the constant, uh, constant hot water. So that's on demand. The Wayfarers do have a nice amount of storage uh, for, for what it is, for a small Class C motorhome. There's your Cummins Quiet Diesel, Diesel Gen. Most of these Sprinter-based, and I mean like 95% of the Sprinter-based motorhomes you see out there do not have the Diesel Gen. They have a propane generator. Well. Propane generators are a little thirstier than diesel generators, number one. And number two, you usually have a smaller tank to pull from. And so you don't really have that much uh, generator uh, runtime available to you. With this you do, there's your 30 amp shore power cord. Here's your wet bay. All right, I know what you really wanna see though is on the inside. So let's go take a look inside. All right, so one of the things I told you, this is on the new Mercedes chassis. They changed this for 2020 um, to have the new big display out in the center. 
um, with the GPS and everything in it, and then the push button start, uh, and like I said, all the controls on the steering wheel, that's all new for the, for the Sprinter chassis. This is on the new chassis. This one was optioned in with the bed up over the cab, so this just folds down. You have a nice sleeping space up here and an LG TV that does swing out. This has a built-in Jensen DVD player uh, as well. Now, the previous owner, a bit of a woodworker, made this beautiful top for this to cover the two-burner cooktop. And then he even made a separate little cover right here that covers this little spot where you, take your where you dump your trash down through. So he made both of those. They actually look very nice in here, so we left them in there. These are benefits. You don't get all this if you buy a new Wayfair. Undermount sink, single bowl. Okay. Now they optioned this one in with the theater seating. You can do a few different things on here. This one actually has the theater seating, and these are electric, and those will, those will lift up and all that. You do have to have a little bit more power on than I have here. The darker woodwork was used in this coach. All right, so let's show you just a little bit of the storage. And this is a slide out right here that this uh, theater seating is on. And then there's also a secondary slide out which gives you a walk around queen bed. You know, in the early days of selling the sprinter based motorhomes, the one thing you never got was a walk around bed. You either slept up over the cab or you had a corner bed back here, and people don't like corner beds. So, Nice part about this is it does give you the, the walk around queen bed. We have a wardrobe here. Okay, get a shot of that. Okay. Gas and electric six cubic foot refrigerator. And then decent sized bathroom for a, again, a 25 foot small motorhome. We'll see if we can't get that shot in there. Have a little vessel sink, a corner toilet. There's room around the toilet. And this coach is in amazing condition. It's like new condition. You know, again, I, I've said this on, on several videos before, but I get this request all the time. I want one that somebody else took the hit on. Folks, I'm standing in it. So you want to save some money, but yet get a brand new coach. Tiffin will transfer the remainder of the warranty over, which is going to be about six months of the full warranty. The Mercedes warranty, auto, which is like five years automatic. It's here three years or five years, I forget. I need to look that up. Um, but anyway, it, it transfers over to you automatically. So you're getting basically a new coach here. Uh, at a discounted price that you can't touch a, a new one for. So uh, give me a call. My name's Chris Anderson. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, thanks, Chris. I've got another one of our parts experts with me today. I'd like everyone to meet Andrew. Andrew, what did you choose for us to look at today? Today we've got a great lesser known product in the hose cord caddy. As I'm sure you veteran campers are aware how much of a pain it is to get that put away in your compartment or taking it out and taking half your stuff with it. But well, now you've got a nice convenient basket to store your cord or your hose in. Excellent. I see we have a number of these in stock. How much are these? These are only $19.99. Well, that's a great bargain to keep things organized in your RV. And customers can come in when? Anytime to Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 or Saturday from 9 to 5. Excellent. We appreciate that, Andrew. These I highly recommend. So remember, you can view our entire inventory at MountComfortRV.com. There are new and pre-owned RVs arriving daily at our lot. So refer to our website often as our inventory changes daily. And of course, you can always call us at 800-899-6676 to check out our current inventory. So remember, please be kind to one another and keep those cards and letters coming. See you next time here on America's favorite RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online. A shower curtain, you said? Yes.